Hello, this is an informative video about directory and index data structures by Alex Adkins and Jasmine Gonzalez Rivera. Um, this is relevant for around October 15th, 2012. Just keeping the vision. During this presentation, we will discuss the three major data structures unsorted linear lists, hash tables, and B plus trees. Each of these data structures have their own advantages, disadvantages, and particular structures. Once we've covered these topics, we'll move on to the key topics section. Here, we will discuss the things that are important about data structures and what you should take away from this presentation. Finally, we will test your knowledge with a few exercises, some written and some coding that you can do on your own time. The first data structure we're covering is unordered linear lists. Unordered linear lists are the simplest used data structure. They are still commonly used for simple and small directories, primarily in the Unix family file systems, but are inefficient for large amounts of data. Linear lists are composed of unordered key value pairs, and entries into these lists can only be found through a linear search. This format makes linear lists suitable for small directories, where a linear search is a reasonable method of search. In large directories, however, this method becomes inefficient and other data structures are used. The example of a linear list in the given image is a linked list, in which each node of information leads to the next, and so on, linking the data linearly. Hash tables are another type of commonly used data structure. They, like linear lists, are composed of key value pairs. Hash tables create an indexed array of these key value pairs, where the entry number is a hash value or code generated through a hash function of the key. This means that any entry can be accessed without looking at the preceding entries, as long as the particular key contained by the entry is known. Because of this, searching for any entry in a hash table is a constant time operation, independent of the table size. This only works, however, so long as no two keys collide and are assigned to the same location, which would greatly reduce efficiency as the system would have to continue its search in alternate locations. While hash tables are generally extremely efficient as constant time operations, they do have their disadvantages. Hash tables do not support order-based accesses. That, this means that if you wanted to, for example, find all rows in an accounting table for payments made within a particular range of dates, you would not be able to. A hash table must also not be too full as to avoid collisions. Their distinct advantage is their ability to perform constant time operations because they do not have to linearly search through all values. The image displayed in this slide is of a simple hash table. Entry numbers are generated from a set of keys, and these entry numbers point to the entries themselves. A collision can be seen, which will be decrease the efficiency of a hash table lookup. Now that we've gone over some of these more basic uh, types of data structures, let's look at B plus trees. Now these are generally uh, better than hash tables or linear uh, structures because their algorithms are more efficient. Um, one problem with B plus trees is that, similar to hash tables, you cannot go through a system linearly. This presents the same problems as mentioned before. Um, another thing about B plus trees is that they their system is one of nodes, where you have one node li linking to a group of other nodes. If a node does, have, does not have anything left under it, it is called a leaf. Leaves are where the actual um, information is being stored. This is where the actual data can be accessed. To get to this point, though, you have to um, go through a system of nodes. The nodes that have, le that have leaves coming off of them only contain branches. They do not have actual information under them. This makes it a lot more, a lot more efficient than some other data structures. A B plus tree's order is based on the number of keys each index node can hold. Each index node of a B plus tree of order n can hold n keys and n plus 1 pointers. An example of this would be a B plus tree with order 4. In this case, it would be able to hold 4 keys and 5 pointers. Each leaf of a B plus tree must have the same number of data. This makes a B plus tree balance in nature. This is important when, dis when considering how to organize data since this makes it easier to access. There are several key notes we want you to take away from this video. You should know gen generally about directory and index structures, specifically about lists, hash tables, and B plus trees. These are the three major structures used today in computing. 
Besides this, there's quite a few aspects of this topic that you should know about. Directing knowledge is generally key when creating or accessing files. A, program want, a programmer wants to achieve good speed and efficiency when creating their data structures. They're also used when there's large amounts of data. Small amounts of data can be are easily accessible and don't need such complex systems. However, you will want to know what to do when you have large amounts of data. Besides this, interviewers often ask about linked lists and hash tables, which is a key skill whenever you want to get a job. Please keep these in mind with, um, as you exit this video. During this portion of the presentation, we will go over a few exercises. These are simply meant to make sure that we're all on the same page and that you fully understand how these data structures work. Now, we will be pausing right after asking the question. Feel free to take your time in answering the question and pause the video before continuing on when the answers will eventually be told. Name that data structure! Which data structure is shown below? That's right! It's a B plus tree! Which data structure has constant time operations? If you answered hash tables, then you are correct. Finally, here is a coding exercise to practice the skills that you learned during this presentation. Read the following documentation and try to implement your own hash table in C. In making this video, we reference Chapter 7 of Operating Systems and Middleware by Max Hailparin, Wikipedia, Stack Overflows forums, and University of Illinois website. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice afternoon.